day wound up with a little soggy weather as we went into the evening hours. We'll continue to have that light rainfall into tomorrow morning. Strong wind gusts may join in with that as well. We could be seeing gusts over 40 miles per hour starting at around sunrise tomorrow and lasting throughout much of the day. So plan on that gentle rainfall to be coupled with plenty of strong winds as we go into tomorrow. First up on the radar, we're seeing that light rainfall spreading around the state line. We'll continue to have that steady light rain through the night. Note there are some pockets of snow showers trying to mix on in. Unlike Monday, we will be seeing just a rain snow mix with little to no snow accumulation. Definitely not coming down heavy enough to stick to those roads and uh, grassy surfaces like we saw earlier this week. So you zoom in on satellite radar. You can see just north of DeKalb, a little snow indicated at least on radar and then uh, getting close to Rock County with a couple flurries at least uh, indicated out there with the radar conditions. We will continue to see that mixing possible into tomorrow morning before we dry on out after that. Now, not a ton of rain has fallen so far, very light amounts. And that'll definitely be the theme as we go into tomorrow morning. May see up to a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall in total. So spots that are already up to a quarter of an inch may see another quarter of an inch of rainfall. So definitely looking a little soggy as we go throughout Thursday morning. Here's future track that does have uh, mainly light rain shower activity. Again, a couple snowflakes may mix in from time to time, but not getting any kind of accumulation results out of that. We go past midnight and things are starting to dry out around our area and we should be fairly dry going into tomorrow morning, but still some areas seeing a little rainfall. Uh, most likely south of I-88 after about 8 o'clock or so, and then we dry out going into the afternoon. So it's just the early morning hours you may have to deal with a little more light rain. When it comes to the winds, they're still getting ready out there. We're not like not, not seeing the strong wind gusts just yet, but they'll definitely be picking up all throughout the course of the night to the point where right around sunrise, we're seeing gusts over 40 miles per hour. They stay steady like that into tomorrow afternoon before dropping pretty steadily into tomorrow evening, expecting to see calmer conditions by the time we get to Friday. But through the morning and early afternoon, we have a wind advisory in effect, difficult driving conditions ahead because of those 40 mile an hour wind gusts. So plan accordingly. I think west to east running roads, so Highway 20, for instance, that's when you're really going to catch that crosswind. Just be careful out there driving throughout the course of the day. Temperature wise hovering just above freezing tonight and then we see temperatures return to the 40s tomorrow under that mainly cloudy sky after the rain and those hints of snow dry on out again still getting the strong winds through about 7 o'clock tomorrow. Looking ahead in the forecast, slightly breezy on Friday, but sunshine and 50s are back and we quickly warm up into the 60s by the time we get to the end of the weekend. Early next week, more spring showers on the way because we're staying in the 50s. No worries about snow for early next Tuesday. And in our most accurate 10 day forecast, we we'll see a few more chances for rain late next week and into next weekend. But overall, we're staying a lot milder, so possibly done with wintry conditions, at least for now, Lauren and James. That's good to hear, Alex. The Rain can stay as long as the temperatures stay like that. Thanks. I agree. <laughs> At